Hi there. Some time ago, a few years ago, I did a uh, video demonstrating all the features and things of my uh, 1100 Goldwing. All the controls and stuff I've added to it. Um, well, now I've got a 1500 Goldwing as well, so I thought I'd uh, go over and show some of the things that I've done to this bike uh, to kind of customize it. This is a 2000 SE. It was the last year of the 1500 Goldwings, and it is the SE, so it has all the gadgets and goodies on it that uh, came with it as well as the stuff that I've added on. Um, well, it has obviously a Corbin seat, which is a unbelievably comfortable seat. Uh, I just absolutely love that seat. Um, let's see. Stuff it comes with. You know, you got all the, the uh, digital dash and, and uh, all that good stuff in there. Um, as you can see, all the, the lights and it looks real pretty. Um, does come with a, a radio that uh, has the built-in inter intercom. But, uh, a CB down here, right there, that's built into the uh, intercom system so you can uh, talk on the CB. Here's this transmit switch for the CB right there. All your radio controls, you can uh, um, change the, the station up and down. You can unmute it. You can also change the, the CB channel right there. Um, high beam, low beam, uh, you know, turn signals, horn, uh, which is really loud because on this bike not only does it have the factory horns on either side but it also has an air horn that, on the side right there actually two dual air horns and it's got a little compressor that's built inside the uh, fairing right inside there so extremely loud horn um, let's see we over here we have cruise control which is really nice. Uh, my 1100 has a throttle lock, which was you know nice on the highways, but the th cruise control just does a, such a, a much better job. Uh, this one also has the air pressure uh, suspension. Suspension change the suspension pressure uh, preload for the the uh, rear suspension. Um, currently, it has it only the factory comes with it the air suspension on the right shock only for the on the side of the swing arm. Uh, I think I'm going to put a pair of uh, Progressive 416s in there on both sides like I did on the 1100. I think give it a little bit of a better ride uh, when it's uh, heavy weighed down. Um, I do have the wind wings on the side here so you can deflect wind away from you when it's uh, cold out or you can bring the wind into you when it's hot. Uh, I've got a couple highway pegs right down here and you saw it either side. They are mounted on the crash bars here and they just flip out and they give you a nice place to put your foot. Um, and let's see, what else we have? We have, I mean, speakers on the back. We got the, the dual antennas, a uh, couple little storage pouches either side. It does have uh, two saddlebags, a trunk, lots of lights on the back. Get to that in a minute. Um, um, over here, this control here opens and closes these little flaps right down here, which put warm air onto your feet. So it's like a foot heater. Um, and on this side, you can adjust your headlight um, so it points up and down. These levers right here, when, when you flip them up, they loosen the windshield so that you can actually move the windshield up and down. Uh, I've got a Tulsa Tall windshield, which is uh, quite a bit larger and taller than the factory windshield. Okay, I think that's pretty much the factory. Oh, we have a reverse, <laughs> which is really nice. You just pull this out, pull it back, the bike's in reverse, and you then press the starter button, and the starter motor, which is a much beefier starter motor, backs the bike up. Okay, stuff that I've added. Well, we've got a few switches right here. You can see um, these two switches here turn on these fantastic lights here. One is the, the wheel of fire, one is these, uh, these uh, lights here. And then the third switch, which is kind of tucked in behind there, turns on these extremely bright driving lights, which are really nice. Uh, it helps keep visibility. I've also got a headlight modulator, so I don't think it's going to actually modulate in here. It's too dark. But uh, when it's turned on, let's see if I can trick it with my flashlight here. It actually, there we go. It flashes like this to uh, kind of get the, the attention of the cars that are uh, driving around and not seeing you. And that's, that's a really nice option. Um, I've changed all the lights on here to LEDs. You can see that's an LED light there. 
turn signals LEDs. They got some extra cornering driving lights down here in the front. Those are all LEDs. Um, side marker light, LED. I've put these in here. This comes with just three lights. And it, it, I didn't really like the way it looked, so I put some LEDs in there and like long strips. We got some up here. Got LEDs in the back, brake lights, uh, license plate light, all the light, all this actually, um, all that stuff is all LED. And I can turn my hazard lights on so you can see you know, the, um, the turn signals all blinking there. And those are all LED. And in fact, I've also got the, the side marker lights flashing as well, so they, they go with the turn signals. Um, let's see, the other stuff I've got on here, I, I do have a uh, GPS mounted right in here. And you can see I've got a little hood over it to keep the sun out. And that GPS is actually hooked into um, the intercom. So when it talks, I actually hear it through the intercom. Um, the other thing I've added to the audio system uh, I'm particularly proud about is, um, well, I've got you know, my uh, XM radio that I've mounted over here. And I also have, inside this little pocket here, if I just unsnap this pocket, I've got an auxiliary input. So I can plug in my phone or wet phone or wet. And I've also got some charging wires here that I've built in a um, USB charger so I can plug my phone in there and it will charge it up. As well, I put a, a 12 volt socket in there so if I need to, I can plug a 12 volt device in there and charge it or, or whatever I need that for. And to control all this, I've got a little, uh, what I call a bike PC. Uh, this is something I, I spent a few months this winter designing and building. Um, it's actually a computer. The computer is inside the fairing. The display is out here. And the controls for it, I've mounted right on the side here. You can see I've got a, an up-down switch here and then a push-button set switch there. And what this lets me do, now you can see on the main screen it shows, well, it's showing 95 degrees because I've just turned the bike off and it's reading the radiator temperature. And it's showing the voltage of the battery and a couple other things there showing me the gear I'm in. Now, if I switch into first gear, you can see it, it now shows me in first gear and it starts my trip counter up there. If that starts happening as soon as I switch out of new. Switch out of new. Um, if I, I've also got a couple other things here. I've got showing that I'm running, listening to satellite radio and I've got my heat indicator. I have this thing running heated clothing. So I have gloves and boots that are heated and that's showing that they're both turned off at the moment. If I hit my set button, there's my glove settings. So I can turn that on to whatever I want. Say I have my gloves at eight and I'll put my boots at two. And let's say I'll switch, well, I'll leave that for now. So now you can see it's now actually turned on the heat to my gloves and boots and that plugs in right here. I've got a couple Gerbings jacks here. Here's the, the jack where my gloves plug into and then I, the, the same one for the, the boots there. Um, let me just switch this so, off the headphones so I can hear it. So here you can hear the satellite radio that's playing right now. And if I switch over to this, I can here's my satellite radio. There's my auxiliary input. And if I flick it, if I flick it, there I'm, there I'm now listening to the, the regular AM FM radio. So and that's all that's all done through my bike PC as well. And then I can set the, the brightness. It automatically dims itself at nighttime, so you can change what that's going to do. So I'll just turn these uh, gloves and boots. And it remembers the settings when you turn the computer off until the next time you start it up. Uh, it's really nice. I really like the temperature. I love having the gear indicator on there. That, that really makes a big difference to me. Um, so I do have that... Uh, the heating on there that I mentioned, which is really nice on the cold days. I do have the bike tender, the battery tender. And you can see I've mounted the wire so that it's hidden inside this pouch here. And I, I just plug it in and that keeps the battery at full power. And, and when I'm not using it, that just closes up and you never know it's there. Um, in the back, I've added a couple f things. If you look in the, uh, the trunk here, as soon as I open this trunk up, it turns on a little LED in there, D in there, up the whole trunk. And I've done the same thing if you look on the side bags. As soon as you open those up, I've got an LED up there. So it, that's really nice at nighttime that it lights up the interior of these bags because there are times when you park somewhere and it's dark and uh, 
if you don't have a flashlight, there's no way you're, you're ever going to see what's inside there. So, um, oh, the other, the other kind of neat feature I didn't mention is uh, there's a little hose in here. You can see this little hose in the plastic bag, and it plugs into that little outlet right there. And what that is for is it's connected to the air compressor. So if I press outlet and then increase, it actually will pump air out that hose and I can screw that hose into one of my tires and pump up my own tires, which is uh, really kind of cool. Um, so I think that's about it. That's everything that I've got on this bike and I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. Oh, actually, no, there is one more. My garage door opener. I can open my garage door with a button right there. And I do have a battery uh, monitor there. It turns different colors if the battery's in, in bad shape. And I do have a CompuFire alternator, a 90 amp alternator with a, um, a glass mat battery. So uh, I can afford to have a lot of this electronics on here because the bike can certainly handle it. So that's, uh, that's about it. That's, that's the bike I, I've got now and I, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm driving it all over the place and uh, I'm about to take some long trips on it. So I'm, 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 I've spent the whole winter pulling it apart rebuilding it, doing all kinds of maintenance on it so it's in tip-top shape, and uh, I absolutely love it. I'm, I'm looking forward to many years of, of riding on it.